The News of the World, Wednesday, February 25th. Once again, Columbia's correspondents in world capitals and in the fighting zones in the Western Pacific are ready to give you the latest news direct by shortwave radio. And now for news of our own West Coast, we take you to Los Angeles and the report of Byron Palmer. Anti-aircraft guns went into action against unidentified aircraft in the Los Angeles area shortly after 3 a.m. Pacific War Time this morning. The anti-aircraft guns began barking during a blackout ordered by the 4th Interceptor Command at 2.25 a.m. The unidentified object, which some sources thought might be a blimp, moved slowly down the Pacific coast from Santa Monica and disappeared south of Long Beach. Army officials declined to comment on the possibility that the object might have been a blimp. However, it required nearly 30 minutes to travel some 25 miles, far slower than an airplane. Welcome back. Today, we delve into one of the most mysterious and perplexing events in American history, the Battle of Los Angeles. This incident, also known as the Great Los Angeles Air Raid, occurred on the night of February 24th to 25th, 1942 and has since become a topic of intrigue and speculation. Join us as we explore the details, theories, and legacy of this enigmatic event. In the early months of 1942, the United States was still reeling from the attack on Pearl Harbor. The West Coast, in particular, was on high alert, fearing further attacks from Japanese forces. This fear was exacerbated on February 23, 1942, when a Japanese submarine surfaced and shelled an oil facility near Santa Barbara, marking the only bombing of the continental United States during World War II. The events of the Battle of Los Angeles began late on the night of February 24, 1942. At around 2 a.m. on February 25, U.S. Army radar detected an unidentified object approximately 120 miles west of Los Angeles. The city's air raid warning system was activated, and a full blackout was ordered. Residents were jolted awake by the wailing of sirens, and thousands of volunteer air raid wardens rushed to their posts. At 3.06 a.m., anti-aircraft batteries in Santa Monica reported sighting enemy aircraft and began firing into the sky. This prompted other batteries across Los Angeles to join in and soon the night sky was lit up by searchlights and tracer rounds. Over the course of the next hour, more than 1,400 rounds of anti-aircraft ammunition were fired. The barrage caused widespread panic and confusion. Civilians and military personnel alike reported seeing enemy planes, bombs, and even paratroopers. Some reports claimed that a Japanese aircraft had crashed in Hollywood. In the years following the incident, several theories have been proposed to explain what happened during the Battle of Los Angeles. One of the most plausible explanations is that the initial radar contact was a weather balloon. The Office of Air Force History concluded in 1983 that weather balloons released prior to the incident, combined with the nervous state of the military, likely triggered the barrage. Now here's where the weird gets even more weird. Some have speculated that the unidentified objects were extraterrestrial in origin. A famous photograph from the Los Angeles Times, showing searchlights converging on an object in the sky, has been cited as evidence of a UFO. Another explanation is that the entire incident was a false alarm, exacerbated by jittery nerves and the recent attack on Santa Barbara. The confusion caused by anti-aircraft shell bursts illuminated by searchlights may have led to multiple false sightings of enemy planes. Thank you for joining me on this journey through history. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more in-depth explorations of historical events. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.